Hi everybody, it's Mon here. I thought, wanted to share a quick video with you to talk about how to set an intention so that uh, what you desire actually manifests. There is a very powerful way how you can use the intention to bring your desires to life very quickly and the secret is lies in connecting with the emotion of it really getting clear on what is the underlying emotion that sits behind your desire is it is it the feeling of freedom is it the feeling of joy is it the feeling of a relief feeling of being safe secure provided for completely taken care of is it the feeling of um, being successful and enjoying um, seeing other people being helped being given advice guidance support um, by yourself that is truly beneficial and value adds value to their lives transforms even people's lives so getting really clear on the emotion really sets your desire into motion for it to manifest much faster so So to give you an example, I will share one of my personal stories. So for the past few years, since I've been on my personal spiritual awakening, I have been meditating for about 30 minutes, sometimes even an hour every morning and really connecting with those emotions that are most meaningful to me, that represent my highest values. And really getting clear on your highest values is, is the first step towards realizing the dream life that you really want to create um, for me my highest values are freedom I love the feeling of being free to be do and have everything I want that is true for me to be able to wake up um, every morning I really decide how I want to spend the day with whom where and and how you know what I want to do that I'm not imprisoned to any corporation that I'm not stuck in any dead you know dead end job that I hate that I'm not having to put up with toxic people and meeting toxic people at work who are nasty and and um, selfish really kind of my, the feeling of freedom for me represents um, um, anything and everything around enjoying your life on your terms and not being forced to um, put up with anything that isn't true for you, that doesn't resonate with your heart. Um, that, that is really my number one value. And for me, the feeling of freedom also encompasses money, safety and security, you know, being so financially safe, secure and provided for, taken care of that I don't have to worry about how the money comes to me and really trusting that what I'm creating, that my purpose alone, um, which is something that I'm, I'm so passionate about is actually creating that financial abundance and say say a sense of security that i that i have been connecting to every morning feeling already having it even though maybe my bank account wasn't exactly reflecting it but really connecting with the feeling and trusting before you can see it in your reality will ultimately bring your desire much closer much faster to you um I now set intentions for just about everything in my life. You know, I, I and uh, intention and gratitude is something that I practice literally on a moment by moment basis. Being, a, you know, being grateful for the beautiful food I eat, being grateful for every beautiful moment I experience in my life. Yes, I do have, um, you know, moments when I, when I forget sometimes to feel grateful when I you know get a bit freaked out about something but then I try to quite quickly bring center myself into that gratitude back again and really be, bring myself to, to that sense of trusting trusting my journey trusting my path trusting myself that I am a deliberate creator powerful to be able to create the reality that I truly desire and uh, when it comes to setting intention um, for everything, I set intention for from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. 
um, and it's it's really so beautiful because when you set an intention um, you know it goes as you know my intention is X Y and Z so for example for me my intention for today is to create beautiful videos that truly inspire people to create the most incredible life of their dreams for themselves so that was my intention for today I, I sort of have a goal to create two videos today and um, give you valuable information that will really serve you that will help you to practically use the law of attraction and law of vibration to bring your desires much much closer to you so when you i set an intention so my intention is to create um two um, highly engaging empowering videos that will serve people help people and really is inspire them to transform their lives um, and then I connect with the emotion of that feeling that the sense of gratitude and joy that I was able to help someone on the other end watching this video um, and really lift them up um, empower them and encourage them to really believe in themselves because at the end of the day behind all of these laws laws the universal laws whether it's a law of vibration law of attraction a uh, law of resonance any other laws you know th there is that that feeling of um trusting the self trusting that you are um, powerful enough to be able to create the life of your dreams that what you say what you speak out what you feel what you think what you believe will come to you having that trust in yourself is the number one thing that will ultimately um almost like fuel all of these um, laws and help you bring them uh, bring your desires closer to you much faster so i said those intentions connected with the emotions of feeling the gratitude and joy receiving you know amazing comments from people um telling me what they've manifested in their lives and and uh, and really feeling the joy with them that um, this this is working for them just as well as it is working for me and I really am um, more and more increasingly wanting to live my life this way and I will not ever go back to the old way of forcing things into creation you know working in a corporate environment dead end jobs full of people who were backstabbing and and um, would sell their grandmother for five, you know, five pounds um, if they could. And it's it just like, it doesn't resonate with me. I have no interest in working in those places anymore. And um, and I want to really send a message of hope and encouragement that, uh, that what you really believe is possible for you will come true, will come true. The, the key is to connect with those emotions on a daily basis and really make it a consistent practice of yours. Make it, a, make it your lifestyle, make it your choice every morning that you put yourself first, that you are going to live your life this way, that there is no other way that you want to live your life. Um, and what you will be doing is you will be connecting and committing to yourself on a daily basis and really connecting with these dreams in your heart with those powerful emotions you will be sending the signal up to the universe saying i am ready i am ready to commit to a different type of life that is more true for me and um the, the the next step in sort of in the intention setting and the manifestations you really need to let trust that what you are asking for is possible is going to come to you and it's already yours you just need to align yourself with the exact emotion for you to actually receive and this is where the trust comes in trust is so incredibly important in the whole manifestation process because if you don't trust yourself if you don't trust the laws if you don't trust that you are a powerful deliberate creator um it's very hard for the, you're basically creating a lot of resistance and you're, you're going to be blocking um that desire to come to you so trust is incredibly important and when as you trust you surrender and you let the desire go up through to the universe and and you it's like ordering ordering something from amazon and and then setting the law of expectation into motion where you are literally just expecting your desire to come to you 
um, that you do no longer need to force it. Yes, you can continue to connect with the emotion on a daily basis, and, and in my view, you should um, um, to, to to sort of like charge it, to charge the desire, and keep aligning yourself with it every morning, every evening. Um, for the universe to know that this is true for you, that you you're ready, you're ready to receive. But then um, the last step really allow practice allowing. So even mentally and emotionally, say to yourself, I allow to receive. I allow myself to receive now. I allow myself to receive this beautiful, you know, X, Y, and Z um, goal. It's already mine. I am in. I am perfectly placed to receive now I'm perfectly placed and kind of recite these incantations over and over until it becomes so true to you that you will feel it so intensely in your heart that this is your that this is your new life and it's it's here and now and you will be amazed how quickly you can manifest things the intention is really powerful but connecting with the emotion of what the desire actually represents to you is, is really the biggest secret behind the law of attraction and then sort of surrendering it um, surrendering um, when a lot of people don't understand what the surrendering and letting go represent and it literally on it just represents the, 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 um, the fact that you trust that this is coming to you you stop think, thinking about it you stop forcing you stop putting it on a pedestal and, and um, you know seeing it outside of you you just trust that it's already yours that you and you, and you see yourself in those moments where you are experiencing the desire so to give you a practical example that may that may really help you to put this into perspective uh, sorry my mascara is running all over it's a bit windy here um, so to give you a practical example I want to share a personal story uh, that may really inspire you so over the past four years I had this dream in my heart I to be honest I don't know where the hell it came from I just knew that it's true for me um, over the past four years, I've been going through a very tough spiritual awakening. Uh, I've been healing a lot of um, my personal wounds from childhood, including a narcissistic um, abuse um, wound that I've had um, from my childhood. And it's been it's been really intense. It's been really hurtful and, and um, shockingly painful. Um, but I. Um, besides doing the, the daily healing and really committing myself to letting go of, those, of all of those old traumas and pain that I, I had um, stored in, on my cellular body, you know, besides doing that and making a commitment to the daily practice, I also had another dream and, and there was more, much more forward-looking um that where i wanted to basically create a life for myself that would represent who i am and the kind of lifestyle i really want to live in the kind of environment that really speaks to me and resonates with me and i really seen myself um so when i connect to my heart i put my hand on my heart and i i would sort of connect to um my truth like what is what is my truth and i would ask god of these direct questions like where um, am i going to be truly happy where am i going to live you know who is my life partner what kind of work am i here to create i would ask all of these uh, direct questions and i would get a lot of answers um that um perhaps at the time four years ago would be would would, would be so <laughs> even impossible for me to believe then you know i was living in london in a tiny flat i um um but my dream and when i connected to the truth was actually telling me i'm you know that i want to live by the sea i'm i'm an empath i'm a highly empathic person and in big cities i really feel the energy the the chaos the um you know the lot of contrast and um even the, the, the collective consciousness of sort of um, there is obviously a lot of city workers, um, a lot of um, worker bees, you know, people in stuck in a rat race, working extremely hard, constantly tired. And I, as an empath, you know, pick up on, on those emotions and on that energy really easily. Um, so I wanted to see myself living in a much more peaceful environment that is soothing to my soul. And um, I've really seen myself living by the sea, living um, 
you know, walking distance to a sea, being able to go for walks every morning um, and connect with the power of the ocean and um, even use the power of the ocean to help me manifest my dreams, which is another video that I want to talk about a little bit later. And it's a really exciting method that I found, I've discovered, that I really want to share with you. Um, but another video at the time. So going back to my dreams and so my dream at the time was to live by the sea and um, You know, I had my own reasons for that and they were quite selfish They were all about you know who I am as a person what really works for me What I enjoy doing on a daily basis, but also how I want to keep fit I'm not somebody who like loves going to gym and you know doing all the weights and you know getting pumped up it, it that's not for me i prefer to be outdoors i grew up in a very small um town and i was constantly in a forest um um you know walking and climbing mountains and um cycling and um, um and even though i didn't grow up by the sea i remember my summer spent going to the lakes and really kind of connecting with the nature that way and that really sh stuck with me i'm i love nature and uh, i feel like it, it always recharges me and empowers me so incredibly much as an empath i think that's that's crucial for me to live by the nature and uh, connect with it daily it soothes me it's very grounding it's it's very soothing healing um but to cut the long story short so i wanted to live by the sea and i've been really connecting with an emotion on a daily basis i didn't know how this is going to pan out you know what is going to happen i had certain location that i really wanted um, um uh, that sort of really speaks to me but um, um, to be fair, that location hasn't manifested for me yet. I really feel like it's the next step. So I wanted to live in Spain um, because of my own reasons. I want to learn the language. I love the culture. I love the, um, the, the environment. And for whatever reason, my heart is telling me that I need to be in Spain. There is something for me to, to land there, somebody to meet, you know, new friends to make, what have you. Um, and I really trust it. Like it took me a long time to to trust this vision. Um, but I be, be, as I've been connecting with it on a daily basis and really connecting to the power of my heart and soul to guide me, I am um, really surrendered to this. And I trust it that there is that that this is going to be my path. That I'm meant to be there. That there is something great expecting me. Uh, you know, um, expecting me there. So I am. I fully trust it now. But before this step manifested i we've had an opportunity to live somewhere else by the sea and even though this place doesn't 100 percent resonate um and i have um felt really really weird about it um when coming here so um in cyprus it's a beautiful beautiful country you know beautiful gorgeous place i'm gonna show you the views so at the back you can see the sea over there and this is our little home. So, so even though even though the this country doesn't fully resonate with me, it, it it's like a, I see it like a stepping stone. And I had a really hard time initially um, when we moved over here because I kept almost like beating myself up about not choosing Spain, not going to Spain. And I sort of spent a few quite a few days in, in really bad sort of going through really bad reactions and um, what I've learned through the process so to give an example I was really like I was really sick on arrival here I felt really out of alignment I felt like this is really not true for me to be here even though for the past four years I wanted to live by the sea I wanted to be in a more much more sort of soothing environment and um what I've realized that um, this dream of living by the sea has manifested through another form and that form um, sort of being in Cyprus and even though I'm not sort of at the doorstep, you know, I don't have the, the sea at the doorstep, but it's sort of literally um, 10 minutes drive from where we live. But it is a stepping stone and I felt like I was really being tested to see if I am going to show gratitude for what I have or if I'm going to be so stubborn and stuck in my, in my you know, little box thinking that, you know, I need to be in Spain, it needs to be by the sea, it needs to be this way or it needs to be that way. So universe has manifested 
what I really wanted, but has given it to me in a slightly different way. And when I've been really connecting with, you know, the reasons why it has given it to me in a different shape or form, and why is it Cyprus, why is it not Spain, um, that something profound um, has been clarified for me. And that is the fact that I, up until now, I have been really struggling to connect, to fully follow my heart, to fully surrender to the, to the wisdom and intelligence of my heart. I would get these visions and feelings and, and uh, intuition that would flare up and I would know it's so true for me to be there but I would almost like part of me would almost like ignore it and I would give power, my power, my decision making away to somebody else um, and would let them almost like decide and lead this this plan, this um, um, op option and opportunity as to where we're going to live. And it, it really um, struck a chord with me because um, the whole part of re so the whole part of healing the narcissistic abuse that I've gone through you know the the, the one of the biggest th things that I have been healing through through that was um, allowing myself to trust myself to trust my feelings to trust my heart to trust my intuition to trust my visions to trust my future my dreams because when you have been um, in a relationship with a narcissist or you have um, perhaps had a narcissistic parent or both, um, you know that something that they do incredibly well, they invalidate you. They can't be that mirror to you to reflect back to you your truth and validate you and tell you what you're feeling is true, what you're thinking is right, what you're believing that's your true honey and this support you. They, that narcissistic parents could, could have never been that mirror to you. And instead, um, majority of the time, they were basically invalidating you, how you felt, what you thought, what you believed, and they were telling, oh, don't think like that, you're too sensitive, you're too, this, you're too this, you're too that, don't be like that, behave different, do different things um, to please basically the parent instead of to please yourself. So an example of that would be, you know, I when I was little, I used to love drawing, painting, being really creative. And um, my mom doesn't really connect with that at all. So for her, that's not important. So what she used to tell me, oh, you know, just just leave that, you know, don't, don't even bother, you know, artists are poor, like, you know, you're not good enough. And basically she, she has been invalidating my truth um, unconsciously, obviously she, could only give me as much love as she could, as she knew how to give. So I've, I've kind of forgiven all that and accepted the fact that your parents, even if they are narcissistic parents, they're not doing it to deliberately hurt you. They can't give you more of, you know, what they've had themselves. So, but it is very painful and it is very hurtful for a young child to be invalidated in that manner because, um, the child basically then doesn't believe in her, himself or herself. They don't trust their heart. They, they stop trusting their intuition. They stop believing that what they want is even possible. So you, you end up so, you end up prioritizing other people's needs. You end up sort of overgiving. You end up walking around your parents on eggshells not to cause any conflict. And what that causes inside of you is, is you stop trusting yourself. You stop following your heart. You stop um, letting that hard intelligence to guide you and lead you to your, to your dreams and desires and goals. And you keep constantly giving your power away to other people. And I realized that this... Um, this whole move to Cyprus has basically um, clarified for me what I have been doing all of my life as a result of that abuse. And, you know, I thought I've healed a lot of it, um, but I have, I continuously um, gave my power away to other people. And um, not everybody, but it's, it's, it often happens that in the most um, intimate relationships, like for example, a relationship with your partner, you tend to um, you tend to prioritize his or her needs. You tend to 
allow him or her to lead the way and you sort of surprise yourself. So what I've learned from this whole move to Cyprus, that I haven't been fully trusting my heart, that I haven't been fully allowing myself to really believe that what I want is possible. And um, but once I, once this came to the surface and once I acknowledged it, once this sort of was um, brought up from my subconscious mind to the, to the surface and to the light, I can now do something about it. And my promise to myself is that I will never ever allow anybody, no matter who they are, to suppress um, my dreams, my desires, my, my visions for my future. And from now on, I will 100% trust my heart and really the, the message here is I want to encourage every single one of you to trust your heart to to continue to give power to your dreams and not to other people no matter who they are even even your romantic partner sometimes you know they have their they have their path, they have their lessons to learn, they have their dreams to accomplish. Um, your objective in your life is to look after yourself. And I'm not saying it from the narcissistic or selfish standpoint, as somebody who has been in the narcissistic sort of mechanic, it, it's, it's, it's really a part of my healing, acknowledging that I am, I am um, you, you know, I live my life for myself and I, have been doing something most of my life where I have been constantly um, lacking decision making and giving my power away to others, let, allowing other people to lead and that has only resulted in pain and heartache and, and me feeling frustrated and my own needs have not been met. So from now on, you know, if you're somebody who has gone through something like that, who has been with a, with a partner who has constantly sort of prioritized their own needs. Um, or maybe hasn't, or maybe has been incredibly supportive in many other ways, but when it came to something that has been really important to you, you've, you've, um, you've, give, you've given your power away to other people. And um, I just want you to become really conscious of how you live your life and, and really allow yourself to live it on your terms. So this is the message um, that I wanted to share, my personal story, as well as... Um, a message or encouragement to really trust your heart because your heart is, is electromagnetically 60 times more powerful than your brain. Your conscious brain only represents about 5% of your, you know, of, of your uh, wisdom um, it, and it's, it's um, mostly learned sort of programs um, whereas your heart has intelligence and wisdom that you can't even comprehend that it will lead you to places and people and things that are true for you and it really um, results in living the most fulfilling life of your dreams so set intentions incredibly important pay gratitude in advance for all the things that you really want to manifest but most importantly allow yourself to have your own needs met first and follow your heart because your heart knows the truth i wish you the most beautiful day and uh, i'm sending a lot of love and blessings from beautiful cyprus and i look forward to seeing you in another video please subscribe because i'll be sharing many more amazing manifestation techniques that i have developed over the past few years that have helped me to create beautiful things in my life and um and I really want you to live your most empowered life yet. So tune in, subscribe and hit that um, little bell next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every time I post a new video. I'm sending a lot of love and uh, peace and namaste to you all. Much love.